So, um, yeah, this is basically talking about an event that's happening tomorrow. It's not ideal, sorry about that, but just a case of when we could get the tram shed, um, which is the venue that we're going to be using. It's down, to, down by Riverside, just underneath the railway bridge as you go up Clare Street. Uh, if you haven't been there, the venue alone is, is excellent. So um, Casper works at a place that's um, located there. So he was the one that, so kudos to Casper for finding that. He secured that location. That was really good. So as I say, I'll keep this really, really quick. So this is basically, this uh, came about uh, last, but last summer when Ian Oswald, who was the organiser behind Pi Day to London, contacted me and he said that he was um, speaking with Peter Inglesby, who was one of the organisers of PyCon UK together with Vince, and they said that they were going to be trialling out a Pi, Pi Data track within, within that. So talks pertaining towards the data analysis and data science. Um, it wasn't a, an easy split to do that, but getting those into the one track and then we would have the rooms and then we would, would take that through. And we wanted to see, was there an appetite for it? And at the same time, Pi Day to London has just been phenomenally successful. They've now got over 7,000 members. And there was a talk of, can we, like, it's getting too much. Can we start spreading this out throughout the UK? They're doing it in the, in the US, they're doing it in India. Um, po how many is in Poland now? Four or five. Four or five actually. in Poland. So it's just a case of, he got a talk and, at the same time, I met um, uh, John uh, from uh, Bristol, and he was, he also said that they were thinking of setting one up in Bristol, and it was a case of, we were both a bit sort of nervous about how we were going to go with it, so we said, well, why not join forces, and we can sort of do alternating months, and we thought, what do we call it, Pi Data Wales and West, Pi Data M4 Corridor, something like that, it's just an opportunity for... A, to spread the load from London, because it was, I mean, th they, they have 200 people that can go to each meetup. If the whole idea of it is to be sort of, you know, newcomer friendly, but actually what they found was there were some people that, that were writing web scraping bots that were scraping the meetup website that were then pinging them an alert, so they were always getting the first in the queue, so then it turned out, <laughs> actually, it was really only, it was proficient programmers that were coming through to it, it's not really, it's not really the spirit of it, so it just turned into a complete lottery as who can get it, so like, hell's for the load. And we said, let's see how this goes, and that's what we're doing with Pi Data Card. It's just basically seeing how it goes, seeing how, how, how it can go. So just talk, there was, um, as I've mentioned, the Bristol and Cardiff Corporation. At the same time, there's also a chapter is open in Edinburgh, and we've heard that that's gone off to a really good start, but I know there's a really good community up there. There's a lot of, it's, because um, I went to a conference there last year, it's fantastic. And we read the other day that Data Science Manchester have just renamed their meetup to Pi Data Manchester. That was like yesterday. Cool. I saw that they tweeted that. So it's it's uh, spreading. Um, to, I will actually be talking about these tomorrow. It's just an introductory meetup tomorrow. But these are just some of the things that we like to do. Um, one of the things I've met, I've met is because I've just not long ago Casper and I finished PhDs in Cardiff, but we were very much in the medical school side of things. Lots of people there, a lot of them like using MATLAB and things like that, and they, they want to learn more about it, so they're not, they're not from a computer science background. And I've spoken to them already, they'd really like to come on and find out, because I, I went through this all myself. I went through like really like trying to film my way, that's what we're trying to provide. Um, so it's, it's the community more than, more than anything. Um, we want to try to start working towards workshops, and of course with that, that's going to be very much driven by what we get requested and we'll see if we can find the people that know, have the skills in order to prepare these workshops. And another one, I don't know whether you realise a couple of uh, weeks ago there was a panda sprint, did you go to it? I didn't you know. No, I couldn't make it. But that was documentation for pandas because there's been some, did you see the Twitter flare up about documentation? So yeah, one of the things there, some people had criticised its documentation and then of course people say, you use this software <coughs> free, why don't you help write some of the documentation? So there was a big global sprint and uh, the one in the UK there was only was located in London. So, I mean, I don't know, this is a bit of a, a wish list, but it would be nice if we could have, you know, because if, if we had been established, we would have requested to maybe get something like that. I mean, yeah, so some of the ideas we're trying to put out there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to leave this up and if there are certain things, a number of things that in, so really intimidated me when I started, one in particular was Git, you know, just a couple of things that we can try and sort of 
get some like little foot in the door workshops so that people can then know what they can go on and, and take from there. And uh, yeah, that's it. As I say, we, we've got this uh, event tomorrow, it's at Tramshed Tech, and uh, we've got some uh, sponsor, sponsor, Casper's company, Amplifiers, kindly sponsored it. So this is their, that's the company that he works for there, they sponsor it, so there's going to be some refreshments and some food. And, but it's, we're going to keep it quite very informal tomorrow. And then what we're going to be doing is we're then going to be alternating the months then with Bristol. So it's going to be once a month and then take it from there. Okay, I'll keep what, it about. What Thank time is it tomorrow? Oh, sorry, seven o'clock tomorrow. In fact, I should have put it up. Well, I'll tweet out the um, link, link for the, the thing. It is a pinned tweet, though, on at Pi Day to Cardiff, just in one word. And so I think it's fantastic thing to have in, in Cardiff and well done on you guys setting up. One thing Martin and I spoke about is perhaps to ensure people don't get overloaded with Python, looking into maybe PyDiff going once every two months to alternate with, with PyData as well, just to kind of, so that might be something we do. It was never our intention to do that though, but if you No, no, that, I think, I think that would, that would if it, it's if kind of nice for, for yeah. PyDiff to take a bit of pressure of it all. No, no, it's not. And then it's not a threat, it's a good okay, thing. Cool. It's a good thing. And then, what <laughs> we can do, and then what we can do then is we'll always make sure that we point can at each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We said we do that with Bristol, but then we can promote then yeah. that we can do things like absolutely. that. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, no, and no. another thing that we've got is that uh, one thing I failed to mention, one thing we're quite excited about is the Tramshed has really good video conference sync facilities. So from that, we can get anyone with an inter internet connection can give a talk. Brilliant. And we've already got a couple of people lined up from the states, because wow. of course, if we're having evening meetups, that's during their daytime, um, and people probably get requests for these talks a lot. But all they, they don't need to travel anywhere if they're willing to. The only thing is we can't buy them a drink afterwards. That's, <laughs> that's the only really disappointing thing that we've had. So we've had um, uh, Gina, who's one of the uh, people who runs Num Focus, has said that she'd like to give a talk to us from Austin. So it's a bit of case. Of, but we are, we are sort of getting some arrangements there. I guess yes. that's one, sorry, so one big one, uh, big speaker that you're going to get is data scientist yeah. uh, who works at Uber. Oh, cool. uh, he used to work at Amplify, or he still works part-time at Amplify, actually, mm -hmm. but now he lives in San Francisco, and he's got, he's an expert on deep learning and um, all the interesting stuff, so he is going to give a talk through this video link. Um, I'm guessing the video linking software as well will allow you to record the, the talks and we can do yeah we can also yeah. send them, we can send them out. The thing we've got to check with that is that there's there might there's a fit because then we, if they've got like professional recording and video so we might okay. have to and then of course that then means we need to speak to sponsors to find out where we take it yeah where we take it from there sort of thing. But great. Okay. Well, hope to see a lot of you there tomorrow. Well, we're hoping it goes well. Yeah, but, well, well I'm a bit nervous. It's, it's, yeah, a bit nervous about it, but no, we'll, we'll it'll be fine. I hope so. Okay. Uh, right, that's cool. it. Thanks, Thanks very much for listening, everyone. I know it's getting.